this morning for the first time uh, doing some SRT SRS rope walking using the rope wrench and the Petzl zigzag and Petzl chicane. Um, it's the first time I'd ever attempted rope walking and basically what I'm doing here is I'm using a foot ascender on my right foot and a knee ascender on my left. The reason you would use a foot ascender and a knee ascender instead of two foot ascenders is because since you're climbing a single rope you don't want both ascenders to be right on top of each other. You want to create some distance. So by having a knee ascender on one leg and a foot ascender on the other, with each step they don't interfere with one another as they move up the rope. Now this was just my first attempt climbing. Um, I would imagine with some practice I can get pretty proficient at it. I don't see this as something that I, I believe that I would use in a hunting scenario. It's a little bit too busy, um, but it's, it's a pretty fun way to climb. And I see myself possibly using this more so in a situation where I may be um, doing some scouting or some recreational climbing. Um, I just practice going up and down the tree a couple of times, just trying to get the rhythm to it down. And, uh, and it's, it's pretty easy. It's, um, it's especially with the Petzl chicane and the Petzl zigzag. I found that to be I could see myself utilizing the rope wrench over the zigzag in a hunting scenario. One of the things to keep in mind is that with SRT climbing, if you're SRT climbing using a Gree Gree or a Mad Rock, those devices are not designed to go hands free. You need to add a friction hitch. With the rope wrench or the zigzag, if you utilize those, they're designed to go hands free and are commonly used by arborists who work in trees every day. It's a very safe way to go. Okay, so there we showed climbing, rope walking using the Petzl chicane and the rope wrench. Um, as I said, I don't see myself using um, the, especially the zigzag in a hunting scenario. I probably will use that a lot um, when I'm doing my scout climbing and especially when I'm working in the trees, clearing out shooting lanes and that kind of thing. Um, it's perfect for that. Um, it's important to understand that if you bought an SRT kit um, and you're using like the Gree Gree or if you're using something like a Mad Rock, those devices are great for ascending the rope, um, but they're really not designed to be going hands-free when you're in the tree. Um, they're designed to climb up the tree and then you should transition either to your tether or tie in a prusik or something so that you have a secondary device to hold you there because you're always really supposed to have your hands on that rope. Um, so, but with these devices using a rope wrench or the, uh, the zigzag and a pencil chicane, they're designed to go hands-free. Arborists use those every day and uh, they work really well for that. I just like exploring all the different options uh, that you could use and you know if we're climbing trees and the work we're doing is in trees um, there's no better uh, people to look at uh, for safety than what arborists who climb and work in trees every day use so um, you know whether it's DRT SRT um, you know these tools are really kind of fun for me to explore and uh, I would imagine if I'm finding it so much fun playing around with them you will as well. Climb safe and best of luck.